Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the modifying queries. So if you go to the Spring Data official website and you will follow the link at point number 5.3.8, then you can see while, uh, uh, while annotating a query method uh, with at rate query, uh, you can supply the some kind of update query delete as well as insert query so we have been looking into the at rate query annotations and we have seen many example and there we try to select data from the database so basically we have written selected C, uh, jpql as well as sql query right but uh, uh, when you want to update something in the data store then of course you can use at rate query annotation as well but but along with the at rate query you will have to use at rate modify annotation as well if you have a query is some kind of uh, changes you are doing in the data store means uh, if your query is performing some kind of insert update or delete operation then you will have to annotate your query method with at rate modify along with at rate query right and there are some details they have given over here so you should go uh, I will request you to go to this text and they have given the beautiful example right and uh, here they have given uh, you can you can achieve the execution of modifying queries that actually only need parameter binding by annotating the the query method with add rate modifying so if your query represents some modifying data on the data store then you will have to annotate your method query method with at the rate modifying and and this exploration is very important this will trigger the query annotated to to the method as updating query instead of selecting one as the entity manager might contain outdated entities after the execution of modifying queries we do not auto automatically clear it right since this will effectively drop all non flushed changes still pending in the entity manager if you wish the entity manager to be cleared automatically you can set modifying annotation clear automatically attribute to true right if you want entity manager to be flushed all uh, changes within the entity manager then this uh, flag you can set true right so that's the explanation about at rate modifying now let's try to understand these things through an example so what i will do uh, i will just i'm copying this project which we had created in our previous video tutorial and i'm going to paste in the same workspace and i will name the project name query annotation with with update data store store demo and here we have created this project so this is just a copy of our previous example and let's go to the main method so this is our bootstrap class so here there are some API which I had deleted in my previous video. So those API just I am going to delete. And press Ctrl Shift O for uh, cleanup. On the, and we have a service class as well. Service class we have written few APIs. So those API also I am going to delete it. And finally we have a DAW interface. So this DAW interface again I am going to delete. So everything we are going to write from scratch only template we have now here we have a people people management service and this is our service class which is annotated as at, at rate service so instantiation of this class will be taken care by the spring framework and here same i want to auto wire so that's why this reference variable i have annotated as at the rate auto wire so this object will be available for you to use it over here right so this will be auto wired by the spring container and here in service layer I'm going to create a method I would say update person 
email by it so this is the method i am going to create in this service layer and uh, here i would say int id equals to 10 and uh, string i would say new email so we want to update email address so new email i'm going to update so if you look into the database then let's say employee whose id is 10 his current email address is this so i want to update his email address like ajay.k and three times four times nine at the rate gmail.com and here you will have to pass these two parameters id comma new email so let's create this method is service layers this method is not available in the service layer that's why we were getting compilation error and this method we are going to define in our our DAW interface so here I'm going to pass ID and new email okay and let's declare this method in our DAW interface so now this method as we discussed in the spring data uh, official website I'm going to annotate as and so first of all you need to annotate it as modifying right because uh, we are we want to modify our data store right we want to update employee email address uh, for a specific employee whose id we are going to supply over here and here we are going to write at rate query and value equals to sorry guys and let's see how from where we have done this import modify okay let me first import that at rate query then we'll go to auto support over here now value equals so i'm going to write update query update uh, set update sorry uh, entity class name person set uh, email equals to colon i would say new email where id equal to colon i would say person id and here i am going to write i am going to use at the rate param annotation which we have discussed in our previous video right and bracket you can specify your named parameter so named parameter here so person id will be populated in the id and again i'm going to use at the rate param for new email address as well so uh, named parameter for this is new email and that's it now as we discussed in the spring official website so if you want entity manager should flush all changes uh, to the database then here you can uh, specify an attribute is called clear automatically but this is optional even though you do not specify in this case because in this case uh, we have changes in the only and person class right so this is optional so I would say true so so this is optional even though you do not specify this still this is gonna work and one more thing you will have to specify if your at rate query annotation is contains some kind of update query or uh, delete or some kind of insertion query then you will have to specify one more annotation is called transaction else this is going to throw an error and import should happen from this spring package right this annotation even you can specify uh, on the top of your interface so in that case uh, this will be valid for the all query method you are going to declare inside this interface right but uh, i will i will recommend you to specify this at the rate transaction before the query method itself so that you can do a lot of customization if you go to here there are a lot of things you can mention over here like you can specify the isolation level uh, rollback for uh, timeout 
lot of things you can have propagation level so these are the things already i have been covered in a spring related videos a spring how to manage transaction in spring so if you are curious to learn about these attributes then you can follow my spring video video spring videos so almost we have done so let's run this project now what happened i want to update uh, uh, email address of the person whose id is 10 so current email address is ajay.k2019 at the rate gmail.com and i want to update with this new email address so let me run this class yes, uh, run as a spring boot app say ok and here you can see update query uh, has been fired right so basically in doll layer we have a specified a uh, jpql but that is converted into the corresponding sql query right and uh, let's check the database so if i go and refresh the database then database has been changed so new email address is uh, sorry you can see the new email address which we have updated from our java code right so this update is working perfectly fine so i hope you enjoyed learning this concept right so this concept we have learned through uh, an example right so this code i'm going to put on the github and github location you can find in the video description if you have any queries or any questions then please do post below to the video i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible so thanks for watching this video and see you next video